Hi guys, I'm Tom from Avid. We're at Naseby Reservoir fishing at long range and here are my five tips for fishing super effectively at long range. On these large venues, often he who fishes the furthest or the most effective at range is often the one that reaps the rewards. Now, first and foremost is your hardware. It goes without saying, you're gonna need the hardware that's capable of doing the job. So I'm using an amplifier spotter marker rod and three 13 foot amplifier fishing rods now. They're a real pokey bit of kit, but I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna be fishing with big leads so we've got a big easterly wind, so there's a big undertow, and ultimately to hold the leads out there at range, I'm going to need a four ounce lead. Got the ACR 12,000s there, and they're spooled up with our 12 pound outline camo reel line. Now it's nice and thin, it's 0.31, but again, I'm not scrimping on the strength there. 12 pounds, still more than strong enough. I'm fishing up to the tree work, so I need a bit of peace of mind. I can safely extract the fish. On there, I've got a 50 pound shock tight leader again. Helps with the casting, that braid, it doesn't stretch, so you get the maximum compression out the rod, and you get the leads out there with ease. Got four ounce extremity distance leads on there again. They cut through that crosswind, they fly the furthest, and that's my choice. On the spod rod again, I got the 20 pound extremity spod braid. And again, another 50 pound shock tight leader. When that spom's fully loaded, it's a real heavy bit of kit. Again, I need the peace of mind that I'm not going to crack off. Next up, might seem like a bit of a gimmick this, but I've got the bait station. And believe me, when you're putting loads of bait out there, it can be really hard work. The last thing I want to be doing is bending down. When I get into a rhythm, I want to be looking at the same tree. I don't want to take my eyes off it. I want to be putting the spod down the same old time after time. So again, I've got a 17 litre bucket in there again, and I can have that fully loaded. It's nice and stable. I can have my finger stall on the side and a towel again, keeping that rhythm. Next up is wrapping up. Now, it's vitally important, particularly on this session, I'm fishing up to trees. I want to be nice and accurate. I don't want to be going wayward again, because I'll be ending up in the trees and not fishing safely. So my wrap sticks are absolutely imperative. I have them 12 foot apart, which is four yards. Again, they're nice and consistent. Linking into that, I'm using marker elastic. Fishing just under 34 rod lengths, which is a fair old way. And the last thing I want to be doing is wrapping up time after time, particularly when the fish are on me. So I marker elastic my line, a foot from the tip. Again, I've not got to worry about it moving. Then if I get a bite and it's going through the alarm, it's out of harm's way. Being prepared again is super important. I've got a number of spare spools here with a 12 pound line. I've simply got to put a shock leader on there and it's nice and easy. Now the last thing and arguably the most important thing, particularly on this session, is always well worth taking into account are the conditions. You don't want to start your session fishing as far as you possibly can. For the weather to change, I mean, you can't effectively fish over your bait. At 34 odd length, no, no matter what the wind does, whether it turns into my face, I can fish out there nice and effectively and it's not going to hamper my results. So there we have five tips for fishing out at long range. Mm -hmm.